Welcome back, everyone, to the Breakpoint Tournament Expert Division Qualifying Round, poll number one. Before we get started, I'd like to say that if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. You can ring the little bell. You get notified every time I go live. Sure would appreciate it. Help me grow the channel. That being said, we're playing a Goliath bounce-up shot here with some backspin. The... Adjustment is P1 plus 5% max with some wind angle tweaks. Uh, 6.2 back, 3 left. So I'm using a Centurion here. Uh, a 3 left spin, wind 4 ball works. You can use a Tsunami because you need Goliath 9 plus here, or Goliath 9. Goliath 8 doesn't have quite enough backspin. If you don't have a Goliath, nine you can use tsunami five plus we're only looking at the second bounce as a reference so don't freak out because you don't have you know the ball guide with the tsunami that you do with the goliath right we're we're only looking at a second bounce reference with spins added so you can play tsunami here just the same way as you play it with the goliath you can also use a saturn nine plus but if you're using Saturn 9 and the headwind angle and high winds, there's a good possibility that you're running the max club. So if you're going to play it with a Saturn, my recommendation would be to use a P4 wind 4 ball, like a 4-4-4 ball, if you're playing it with a Saturn. Uh, also, you play it with the same spin sets. We're also setting it up just looking at the second bounce for a reference. So keep that in mind. Goliath 9, Tsunami 5 plus... Or Saturn 9 plus with a P4 ball. You can all play this shot. So I'm adding my spins, which is 6.2 backspin, 3 left spin, max backspin, max left spin with a Goliath 9. And then I'm setting my second bounce right there. That's what I want it to. So what I'm looking for is I want the right side of the second bounce on this line which is three lines above the hole right and then i want to be splitting the line that's running in line with the hole with my ball guide so basically right there right i'm gonna put that in the corner so if you push it up if you go a little bit further up from where i'm at here you'll see the bottom of the ball guide kind of makes a u what i do is i pull it down until i get that flat now, it's on a little bit of an angle, but you see it, it's flat, right? So I pull it down just until I see it flatten out. And then I stick the right side touching this line here. That's what I'm looking for when I set this up, just so you know. That way you're always getting the same position, starting position. And now you're going to set this up the same way no matter what club you're using, whether it's Goliath, Tsunami, or Saturn. Add your spins. Set your second bounce here. Then adjust. And the only other thing you need to know is some wind angle tweaks that we have for this shot. Because there's so many different wind angles. And we're pulling up slopes and down slopes and such. that It's inevitable that you're going to have to do some tweaks on this one if you want to drop it with any sort of consistency. So what I'm looking at for wind angle tweaks is this. This bush here is... I'm looking at the right side of that bush, and left is my crosswind angle. I'm splitting the, the two trees over here in half. Right here, see this tree and this tree? Split them in half. This is the neutral angle, and then anything this way will be the headwind angle, right? So in crosswind, there is no change. If you have the neutral wind angle and your winds are in the 6 mile an hour range, minus 0.3 from your adjustment. If your winds are in the 7 mile an hour range, minus 0.2 from your adjustment in the neutral angle. All right? If you have the headwind angle, winds in the 6s, you need 4 clicks of overpower. Winds in the 7s, you need just before circle drop OP. All right. Now, with that being said, of course, there's obviously ranges in between there, right? So if you have, say, 
6.8, 6.9, you might want to do six clicks of overpower. Or if you got a seven mile an hour wind, 7.1 mile an hour wind, you might want to find just before circle drop and then back off of it a click or two, right? 7.5 plus comes in well just before circle drop. If you have like 7.2 and you play just before circle drop, you might just barely drop in the left edge because it kind of needs to be like a click before circle drop. But that's stuff you'll have to feel out. These are the basics. Wins in the sixes is four clicks of overpower. Wins in the sevens is just before circle drop overpower. And then if you're in the middle, you need to kind of do something in the middle, right? But I feel this is going to give you your best chance at a drop. Pull it as straight as you can. Make sure you got your wind angle tweaks set, hit perfect, and then uh, wish you some good luck. Hope you get the drop, and we'll see you on the next hole. E1, plus 5% max numbers.